Hello, welcome to Country Stitchers. I'm Liz. I'm here this evening with Ivan and as you can see we're in my home, not Deb's craft room and not my craft room. After dark it tends to get a little bit hard to see in there when we're filming so I thought I would do this here in the kitchen. But um, why are we here? We're here because Linda Doree still had a few things that she wanted to offer to our viewers and we thought this would be a good time in between our videos to share those with you and just sort of make that the highlight of this short video. So she sent me two new models um, as well as a new kit to add to the ones that are in video number 36. So I will direct you back to video number 36 at the end of this so that those of you who may not have seen that may take a look at the other models and kits that she shared with us then. And she handles all the inventory. And as a refresher, she's a designer. She had a company called Stitching Treasures. She's retired and she's not teaching anymore. And she'd like to share her kits and some of her accessories and items from that time in her life with our viewers. So you get these at a very reasonable cost and she's offering an extra 10% discount to anyone who mentions that they saw it on Country Stitchers. So without more conversation, let's take a look at what she has called Grandma's Needlebook. These are all patterns that were inspired by things that she saw from her grandmother and she learned to stitch and she spent a lot of time with her grandmother. She also is a wonderful seamstress. But this is the model. That's the back and the front. It says, with these needles, I stitch with glee my stitching treasures for thee. It's very pretty. And when you open it, there's sections for each type of needles that you might use in your stitching, as well as uh, thread rings at the top for floss. Um, there are categories behind the needles to tell you what type of needle they are. And then the sizes uh, are labeled on the front. Each of these look very much like a matchbook when you open them. There's a piece of linen and the linen has a cover on it and you slide your needles into that piece of linen and it's backed as well. And then it just stores in here. I just love this. It's just beautiful. And it's all got a buttonhole finish around it. Um, well, actually, no, I said buttonhole, but I think that's nun stitch. Yeah. So it's also got a binding on it that's really pretty. Actually, it makes it look exactly like a book. All of her kits come with everything you need to finish it. All of the mat board is pre-cut. All the fabric, threads, needle, everything. So that's Grandma's needle book. This, she did not send a model along, but it's a thread ort kit. And it's very small. It's made from two small squares of fabric that you stitch on and then they fold inside of each other and then you finish them off and they contrast the inside and the outside contrast but it's very nice because you can just flatten it out stick it in with your project take it along and keep all your thread pieces in it when you're stitching somewhere else and then she sent along the model that goes with grandma's garden sewing kit. This is what the kit looks like. We had the kit in video 36, but we didn't have the model, so I want to show you that. This was the first model design that I stitched for her when I was helping her with some of her patterns. Um, or models, I guess is a better way to put it. But this is like a half pipe, if you will. It finishes in sort of a half round. There's a pocket here. 
and then there's a, a bin. And then aside from the beautiful array of specialty stitches, there's also a scissor fob that attaches to your scissors. And then there's an emery, like a strawberry. It's made a little bit differently. And that's part of it as well for your sewing kit. And then you just tie this around the outside to hold it shut. It's very pretty. Aside from those two kits, which, or excuse me, that kit was shown in the first one, but that model was not with us. Uh, aside from those, we had uh, a request from Linda to let you know that we, she still has um, the wooden spools. This is the checkerboard spool. This is one of mine. And they all have, all of her spools have a magnet on the top that hold your needles, pins. It'll also hold uh, my thimble, which I like. And this is the striped version. And then I'm going to show you this model from a different pattern uh, because it allows you to see the solid color wood that she has this pattern wrapped on. This is kind of a light color wood. And she specifically said that they have the striped checkerboard wenge, W-E-N-G-E, -E, which is a a dark wood, she said. Purple heart. And that, the way she described it to me, sounded like it might be um, somewhat of a dark cherry looking wood. Uh, it's a very heavy wood, she said. So all of those are available to our viewers. Those are $20 a piece. And then one final accessory that she wanted us to mention are her thread rings. They're in the kits. I've showed you some of those in her kits. Uh, she's selling these uh, $7 for 10 and they're all pre-drilled, which is very nice. Makes them very easy to put into your sewing kits uh, and attach to your work. That's pretty much the new items that she sent. I can show you a couple of the unique ones that she's done that we had from her in our last video quickly. This is the Roundy Tui. This is the scissor pouch. It comes with a fob and it hangs around your neck and it comes with the small scissor inside. And then she has a peacock kit. Again, same style closure with the ribbon as the grandma's garden sewing kit. This is her peacock. The flap has a peacock that's beaded. And then it has a mattress style pin cushion inside. And again, a pocket behind there, and three pockets up top, and a place for your scissors on the inside. It's very pretty. And then this is another one of hers. Just double check the name on this one. This is the Victorian Ladies Sewing Kit. And this she took, I think, off of, she sort of did a reproduction of something she had seen, sort of styled it her way. Uh, it's needles and tools. You can't imagine why I would like something that says tools on it. Um, each side has a pocketed flap. And then the inside pocket and stanch inside turns. Isn't that pretty? Very clever. I love the design. It's got little sort of rivet type beads on the side to hold it. And then this looks like the hardware that would hold it in place on the sides. And then the top of it is held together with a stiletto that you can use as your laying tool. It's very pretty. I 
am uncertain. Oh, and there's only one direction that goes in so that it doesn't fall out. And I didn't have it in the right direction. There we go. Um, double check with her on whether she has any of these. Uh, I believe she said she might still have a couple of those. So, those are the kits and the accessories Linda still has left. Her email address will be in the drop down box. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I need to share with you about the details. And Linda's handling all the inventory. And this will be the last time that we display all of these different items that are available to you. So we will also put a link to video number 36 so you come back and go back and review what was in our first video uh, uh, the end of November. I think it was November 29th when we posted that one. So again, we hope you enjoy it. Deb and I will be back Thursday. I'm going to conclude this so that I can go work on a finish I'm doing. Hopefully it will be there to show you on Thursday. And as always, please share the joy in needlework. Thank you. Bye-bye.